Welcome. In this video, we're going to demonstrate the drag and drop feature. We're going to import some photos into iPhoto, create an album, and email the photos, all using the ubiquitous drag and drop technique in Mac OS X. Let's get started. Here on the desktop, I have a folder that contains a variety of nature pictures given to me by a friend. To import them into iPhoto, I will drag the folder onto the iPhoto icon on the dock at the bottom of the screen. This feature works in a variety of other ways as well, such as attaching a file to an email or opening a song in iTunes. Let's close this window and we'll drag the folder onto the iPhoto icon on the dock at the bottom of the screen. iPhoto will group all of the imported photos into a single event, shown here. However, we can have iPhoto break up the photos into different events according to when the photos were taken. Let's delete this project by clicking on it, holding down Command, and pressing Delete. Then let's go up to iPhoto on the menu bar at the top, choose Preferences, and click on Events. Here you can choose if your photos are split into different events by day, or by week, etc. Choose to apply this to photos imported from the Finder as well. Let's close iPhoto. Now we can drag the photos into iPhoto again, and this time it should split them into separate events. Perfect. Now I'll go through and change the names of the events by double-clicking on the event title and typing in a name. It's extremely helpful in the long run to title your events as soon as you import them into iPhoto. Otherwise, you end up with hundreds of unnamed events and your images are lost to antiquity. It can also be helpful to combine photos into a single event if they were split improperly. You can do this by dragging the photos between events or by holding down the command key to select multiple photos and then pressing the yellow merge button in the lower left corner. Great! Now I'd like to select just a few nature pictures and make an album, thus setting them aside as a group. Again, I can hold down the command key on my keyboard to select multiple photos. Once I've created an album, these photos will still exist in the photo and event library in the top left corner as well as in the album. With all my nature photos selected, I can drag them to the source bar on the left side. Notice the green plus icon as well as the red number indicating how many photos are moving. Drop the photos here, name the album, and they're easy to come back to and find later. Finally, let's email these pictures to my friend. I'm going to select just the flora pictures. I don't want Brazil or the moon. If I click the email button in the lower right corner, it will resize the images for me and drop them into an email. However, if you use Apple's mail program, you can drag the pictures onto the mail icon on the dock. Mail will create a new message with your photos as attachments. Type in a recipient and a subject line. In the lower right corner, you can resize your images to make the email smaller. I usually go with actual size, but in some cases the computer will tell you that you've exceeded the maximum size for an email, in which case you can resize the images to a more reasonable size so that the email will actually send. Click the send button, and away we go. The ubiquitous drag and drop feature in Mac OS X can save you lots of time, and it's fun too. If you found this video helpful and you live in San Diego County, please don't hesitate to contact Interlaced for all your Apple needs, from setup to training to support. Thanks.